have already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them. Then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Taurus, for the present time coming up in June, we got the Emperor and it's paired with the Two of Swords. Now this Emperor, it's a very interesting card in the tarot. It's about domination over the mind, over the heart. And it's sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. So, it should probably be welcomed, and that's what you must think about when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important to maintain your concentration and focus. This emperor signals this, but... He also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you'll have little problems mastering most of the other ob obstacles that life can throw at you. So basically, what did I just say? I know that's what you're asking. Now this emperor, like I said, it's an, inter it's an interesting personality. Um, the emperor doesn't use his heart. He only uses his head. So it's a very controlled and focused energy. Yeah, this type of person could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. And it's paired with the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords, it's showing that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. But you might need to consider your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner or partners. And if you're not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. So this requires communication. Lots of communication. Because nothing changes without effort. So basically for the present time, we've got this Two of Swords and the Emperor. The Two of Swords, you could be ignoring some warning signs of a certain situation or about a person. So you might, you might choose to block or avoid someone. Now, because it's with the emperor here, they could be dealing with someone that um, doesn't want to come across as vulnerable. So it's kind of hard to figure this person out. Yeah. So. So you're you're blocking someone. Yeah, and um, then you could be dealing with someone who's very arrogant. So. I know these two cards are pretty vague, but we'll come back to these when we get a better picture of the rest of the reading, and we'll pull everything together. So, for now, we'll take a look at how they see you, the person that you're dealing with, sees you as a Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So this Two of Cups, it's showing romantic partnerships. It's a beautiful card in the tarot, but... It's not its only connotation. It speaks of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Things are likely to be going really well with this Two of Cups. And you'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So your person, they see you as the ideal partner. Yeah, yeah that's a harmony there with the Two of Cups. It's a deep union. That's how they see you. But it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now this card, you see this lady? Um, the card that's below, they see you. That's the Five of Pentacles. You see how this lady, she's walking away from this door. Looks like she's trying not to go in or either she just left out of the door. Left out of the house. And somebody's carrying her off. It looks like maybe her friend or family. And... Uh, she looks like she could be at a panic state, state of mind. And the dog is even barking at her, like, you know, get away. So 
Five of Pentacles. It's a time when you could be feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You probably feel a alone, but you have the capacity to change that. So it's about reaching out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need, it will come. So they also see like this Five of Pentacles. It's not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. Um, they could see you feeling that you're mistreated. And you feel left out. Yeah, they see you as not happy, but they see you as uh, a very romantic love, but you're not happy though. So let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as a two of pentacles and judgment. Two of Pentacles is about two main issues at front. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So be sure you're paying attention there. So you see them as juggling. Um, just... Um, Back and forth. They could be a two-timer. Maybe they're dealing with someone else. But they're back and forth. Okay? That could mean that they're with you, then they're with someone else. Um, or you could just see them as being in balance. They need to bring balance into this connection. Um, because it's with a judgment card, um, you see them jumping to a lot of conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are too hastily made. And it's a sign that they need to slow down, give things more thought, and give more chances. So you see them needing to offer forgiveness, reconciliation, and redemption. And you see them... Yeah, they, like I said, with the Two of Pentacles here, they could um, be juggling. Maybe you and someone else, and because it's with the Judgment card, you see them needing to ask for forgiveness. Or either they, they jump to a lot of conclusions. And it caused the connection to be at a make or break period a lot of times. So, like I said, you could also see them as being in balance if you don't think they're back and forth two-timing and a juggler. You could just see them doing too much and not doing things really well. They're off balance. Or they bring in balance to this connection. Uh, and it's, it's showing that it's because... They lack the ability to forgive. And they jump to a lot of conclusions. So maybe it's just that they bring in balance that way to this connection. So let's move on over and take a look at why it's happening. So we got the strength card. And it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the strength card, it's important for you to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, 
but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with what you're trying to do. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. With the Strength card, it's showing a need for self-love, self-respect, acceptance, patience. Now it's with the Queen of Pentacles, which is showing that you could be spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable, and this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So why it's happening, the strength card, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles wanting comfort. Yep. You're wanting comfort and self-love and self-respect. It's showing it's needed really strongly in this connection. So let's recap this reading so we can get a complete picture. Because I know the reading is kind of all over the place. So let's see what we come up here with. So for the present time, we talked about the emperor. Someone is um, kind of cold. Yeah, I'm picking up. It's probably your person, Taurus. Just a really uh, cold energy with this emperor. They they don't really show any emotion. You never know. You never know what they're thinking with matters of the heart. So you kind of have to guess if they, if they, if they, mm, you kind of, kind of, kind of have to guess what they're, you're guessing, do they love you? You're trying to have to uh, guess how they feel about you. They don't really, they don't let you in that way when it comes to letting you know how they feel. Yeah, they um, don't show no emotion, and you could be feeling like with the Two of Swords here, you could be feeling like maybe they block you. Yeah, you feel kind of like shut off from this person because they don't express themselves. They don't let you let you in. So you probably kind of feel like. You're alone in this connection. You feel like they are, they avoid their thoughts, their feelings. Yeah, so you you could feel like they're blocking you. I'm picking up with the two of swords here, but they see you as ideal partner. Uh, they see you as this. Like I said, the two of cups is. Two of Cups is solid potential for true love and affection. Um, it's a romantic love, like I said. It's it could lead to proposal or marriage, and this could be how they see you, or they could see you wanting this with them. And I say this, they see they may see you wanting this with them. Instead of saying this is how it is, I say I say that because it's with the Five of Pentacles. You feel left out in the cold by this person, and I can see why. They're the Emperor. They, the Emperor is pretty cold. They may have some warm thoughts about you, but you just wouldn't know it. The Emperor would rather have you die wanting to know. They don't express any emotions. Especially when it comes to love. So you feel left out in the cold. But they see you as wanting. I'm going to use the word wanting. Because it's with the five of pentacles. They see you wanting an ideal partnership with them. They see you wanting the two of cups with them. Marriage, proposal, a romantic love. They see you wanting it to be more warm and loving with this Two of Cups. 
and you see them as possibly having someone else. So it brings in balance with this Two of Pentacles to the connection. So you also see them as judgment. You see them as um, not be, they're not that forgiving. So when, when you mess up or make a mistake or you do something wrong in, the, in this connection, um, they're really harsh about it. They don't offer forgiveness and they probably really become cold because they're already kind of cold as the emperor not showing uh, any vulnerability and then they um, pass judgment really really quick with this judgment card when you make a mistake okay and on top of that they could be seeing someone else and it brings imbalance to this connection and that's how you see them and why it's happening we have the strength card and this queen of pentacles i'm picking up you Taurus. you want this connection to be uh, stronger with the strength card here yeah because they see you wanting this to be a more romantic love and so I'm picking up the strength card as you. You also want it to be stronger. You're, and you're wanting it to be more comfortable, more homey. You know, more, yeah, more ideal, more, you want it, you're wanting it to be better. Because that's what the Queen of Pentacles is about. And, um, yeah, so you're dealing with someone who... This person, like I said, this uh, emperor, they um, they don't want to come across as vulnerable. They could be arrogant, a boss, a leader type. Yeah, they could be attracted to order, logic, very organized. Uh, it's their way or the highway type person. Uh, very self-controlled because they don't use their heart they only use their head so you're dealing with someone like that and you feel left out in the cold a lot of times um, so so you feel like they block they block and they avoid you that's how they make you feel left out in the cold and like they're avoiding you just because they don't open up but they know that you want a romantic love with this with them because the two of cups is here and you see them needing to uh, bring more balance into this connection and that they could have someone else yeah and you're just hoping it becomes stronger and and more workable and better with the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card. So that's the reading that I have for you, Taurus. Uh, good luck with this person. A lot of times when you get an emperor, they're pretty much set in stone. But anything is possible. Uh, some people do change. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Just remember, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Also, there's a link below for personal readings if you want to try one of those. So, Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please join me for the next reading for Taurus, which is in about another four or five days. Just in case this didn't, didn't resonate with you, maybe the next one will. So, I hope you're staying safe during this crazy virus season, season that we're having. And I guess you guys feel like I do. You can't wait until it's handled or taken care of. So 
Stay strong. Come back and check out the next reading. And I hope you have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And hope to see you at the next reading.